and it's the beauty of having a camera to capture these spontaneous encounters to share with you. But I also like to turn my microphone over to people and allow them to publicly express their art. See, the worst thing one could do is look themselves in the mirror, define yourself, walk away from the mirror, and forget your purpose. Good evening and welcome to Door Community Auditorium. I'm Carrie Lewis, Executive Director of DCA, and we're so happy you're with us tonight. Before we get started, we want to thank our sponsors. Tonight's event is made possible with the support from our major sponsor, Door Artisan Cheese Company and Glacier Ledge Restaurant. The Blues and Roots of the American Stories series is sponsored by Parkwood Lodge. It takes a lot of community support to run a venue like this. Please say thanks when you see these folks out and about in our community. Support the local businesses who reinvest in our community, and let's give them all a round of applause. We'd love to see you back here for our upcoming events, including this a week from tonight when we welcome Shanika Copeland and Ranky Tinky, and then Bill Miller and Wade Fernandez will join us on the 28th. At this time, please take a moment to silence all cell phones and mobile devices, and we remind you that photography and recording is prohibited. Thanks again for joining us tonight, and now, please welcome Door County Zone, Kathy Greer. that video that was me in another lifetime I needed to give you some perspective this is Jim O. Schmidt Push the pain from you 
I wanted to start out this evening a little bit acoustically and because we're gonna get raucous later. We're gonna blow it up. I mean it's called the you know blowout, so just just saying. And I've got such great musicians. I wanted to just tell you a little little bit about myself for those of you that, that don't know me. Um, why I wanted to show that clip. That was me in another lifetime. I used to sing in the subway of New York City and I couldn't just do that. I had to film people and ask them questions like what inspires you. And, and uh, when I decided that it was time for me to leave New York City because for personal reasons and also it was getting quite expensive as a lot of urban environments. So I bought a car and I drove around the country and I ended up here. <laughs> And I'm, 
But I wanted to share that in all the years I was performing in the subway, the quality of musicianship, you might find a cellist you know, in Grand Central, you might find a acoustic guitar player in Union Square, and, and Jim Schmidt and Hans Christian are the kind of people that you would come upon and you'd say, oh my. So I wanted to, to bring a song of Jim's out because it's a railroad song. And Go ahead. And Hans Christian on chill. <laughs> The Illinois Central comes rolling by It don't stop, it don't slow down Just blowing the whistle as it rolls through the town Thinking back a month ago Your bags are packed and ready to go Yeah, you left me with this mule to ride And an empty feeling deep inside Well, you said that you'd be back again Said you'd write, but you didn't say when I got no letter, I got no news, all I got's these railroad blues, yeah, all I got's these railroad blues. You know my daddy was a railroad man. A conductor on the L and N, and it was hello, sir, thank you, man. From Chicago down to Birmingham. Georgia and up to Maine Out to Wichita and Baton Rouge Yeah, I'd be out there looking for you Well, you said that you'd be back again You said you'd write, but you didn't say when Now I got no letter, I got no news all I got's these railroad blues Yeah, all I got's these railroad blues So every day at 6.05 that old Illinois Central comes rolling by You know, it don't stop, it don't slow down Just blowing the whistle as it rolls through town
Simon Smed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I've been singing the blues since I was a young girl. It's been a genre that has come and gone out of my life, in and out. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's more troublemakers coming. This is Brian Koenig, harmonica, Larry Byrne on the keyboards.
for them. That's for sure. Mm. Yes, Wisconsin. You kept it a good secret. You keep it a good secret from the rest of the world. You know that whole cheese head thing? I get it. I, you never see anybody with cheese heads, ever. I've never seen a cheese head. But back home in New York, well, I shouldn't say that because this is home now, but back in New York, we think you're all wearing cheese heads. <laughs> That's the first thing they said. I moved to France years ago, and the first thing that um, the people would talk about was Jerry Lewis. And I was like, Jerry Lewis? Well, because Jerry Lewis is this big hit over in France. So Americans, Jerry Lewis. So here it's Wisconsin cheese heads. Yeah, so I drove around the country and then I learned about the Steel Bridge Song Festival and my life changed forever. <laughs> Enough to make a woman move. When you have that quality of songwriting happening three times a year for an entire week, what we do there, what, what they do, what they created for many, many years before I even arrived, uh, Pat McDonald and Melanie Jane, it's just amazing, and the entire artists that come from all over, and I've had the pleasure since 2016 of, of being part of that, and uh, the, the, the beauty of February, where we not only write music to artwork, um, and um, we collaborate with artists, and then in June it's the Steelbridge Festival, and then in, in October it's Dark Songs, you know, that's sort of intense, creepy. So, yes. Um, but here's a song that was just written, this steel bridge. And it was a song written with Ruby James, who I perform with quite regularly on Monday nights. And it was really fun to, to finally get a spin with Ruby. You know, it's, it's, we spin the bottle to pick our collaborators. And instead of kissing each other, we write songs. So. <laughs> And, it, and in June, we have to have that bridge in there. And you believe there are so many ways to write about a bridge. One day I was playing this song, and uh, Johnny O was in the audience, and this is Johnny Orlock. This is one of the original troublemakers, Mr. Johnny O. We started playing this little ditty together, and I said, hey, I think you need to play this during the show.
is also written with Wyatt Glavy. Jenny Orlock on the harmonica. Well, the story goes a little bit deeper about my trip into Wisconsin. I, I got in my car, I went on a road trip, I called it the Wander Tour, and I found myself in Madison because I just heard it was a great city and I wanted to check it all out. And um, I heard about a jam at the Badger Bowl where I met Tony Menzer. My life has never been the same. I grew up writing music as kind of a social activist and it's really very deep in my, my bones to whenever I can uh, to write music that matters and using that microphone, if I can make you think a little bit more or not think, that's, that's the important thing. But sometimes when I really need to say something, I, 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 I turn to song. And I know Tony is a, a, just a, a king of civil disobedience. So that's, you know, we're kindred spirits. That's another reason why I love Wisconsin and the, the friends that I've met here is that we all kind of go for that same sort of thing is, is go for the heart and make, make a difference. So I wanted to bring Tony out on, on one of the songs I wrote um, about violence. And, you know, so can we end violence right, for, right now with this song? Hell yeah. Yeah, we can dream. Shop, the Sturgeon Bay Music Exchange. <laughs> How you feeling out there? I want to tell you, there's one thing I really like that I'm seeing, not seeing. I'm not seeing your faces lit up with your phones. Thank you so much. Let's live in another time. You know, it's like, I kind of feel like at some point, if you really do want to take out your cameras, you know, wait till like the last song or something. I'm having this video, and Aaron Fisher is here, and he's, he's filming it for us, so we'll, it'll be up on YouTube. But we live in this world now where we just feel like we need to experience life through, through the lens of, a, of our, our phone. So it's really nice to see you all out there in the dark. I love that. <laughs> Isn't that funny to be able to have to say that? 
This is a song that was written with Carly Bear and Jamie Clark and myself and Eric Fadden. And water means a lot to all of us here in Wisconsin, especially in Door County. And during the steel bridge of 2018, uh, there was a whole Celebrate Water uh, event going on. And Melanie Jane suggested if we were, were up for it to write a song about water. And we sat outside of the Holiday Music Motel and we wrote this song. John Salerno, Dr. John, Hans Christian, and Jim Oshman.
I'm a goal-oriented person, but I also like to be very, um, how should I say, spontaneous. And when I moved here, I loved this place, and I said to myself, in three years, I'm gonna have my own show here. <laughs> Done. Very excited. But before that, I knew I had to do, do some work. And I heard about, um, so Zach, you need to come and help me out some more while I chat, figure out why I'm not getting my cigar box going. So in April of 2017, I wasn't here or living here more than, oh, six months. And I heard of the International Blues Competition and the Paramount. There it is, it works. Thank you. <laughs> oh, the tuner was on. Thank you for that. So I, uh, I, I sent in my application and they invited me to uh, perform during the Paramount Music Association Blues Challenge, which gives you the right, the winner, to go to the International Blues Competition in Memphis. And first of all, I, I'm not a competitive person and I, the idea of, of saying I'm better than you or I'm heading over that way for somebody else not taking a place. I, I'm not into, into that. But anyway, I did it because I thought, hey, if it gets me to Memphis, that would be awesome. And I did, I performed, and I won solo and uh, People's Choice, and they sent me to Memphis. So, I, so that was another goal, to play in Memphis. But I did my homework on, uh, on one level, is that the whole Grafton furniture, the Paramount Furniture Factory, just afterwards, go online, and if you don't know about it, you need to know about it. The history right here in the state of Wisconsin of, is ter in terms of blues is is deeply, um, I'm deeply grateful, we should all be grateful to what came out of Grafton because they, thanks to a Victrola company that wanted to sell their Victrolas, they put acetate records on their Victrolas, sold them for free, and what did they do? They went down to, to the south and they found all these great blues artists. Women were the first recorded artists, so I wanted to honor the women of Paramount. So that, this is a little part of that. Gishi Wiley and L.B. Thomas wrote this tune. Just before she died My mother told me Just before she died My mother told me Just before she died My mother told me Just before she died Daughter, daughter, don't you be like me Daughter, daughter, don't you be like me Daughter, daughter, don't you be like me To fall in love with every man Did not listen to what my mama said. Did not listen to what my mama said. Did not listen to what my mama said. And that's the reason why I'm sitting in here.
all you do Remember, babe, when you drove me from your door Remember, babe, when you drove me from your door Says, go away, woman Don't come round here no more Well, I walked away and I rang my hands and cried Walked away and rang my hands and cried Walked away and rang my hands and cried Got no blues to tear around. <laughs> Julia McConaughey. song by Gishi Wiley is uh, this beautiful tune. Blues women, the early 1900s. Well, the last kind words I heard my daddy say, last kind words I heard my daddy say, if I die, if I die in the German war, send my body back to my mother, Lord. I got killed, I got killed Please don't bury my soul Before you leave me I'll let the buzzers eat me whole When you see me coming Across the rich man's field Don't bring you flour, bring your boots and meal Well, my mama, when she told me Just before she died Lord, precious daughter, don't you be so wild Well, the Mississippi River No, it's deep and wide I can stand right here Watch my babe from the other side Hunter, another fabulous Paramount Music Records artist. Do you know she gave up her music career for 35 years to become a nurse? And she went back to it in the late 70s, and that's when I was first inspired by Alberta Hunter. And this is a song that she wrote, something called The Mind to Ramble. I got a mind to ramble, never work no more. 
I got a mind to ramble, never work no more. I got a mind to take a chance of gamble everywhere I go. Well, the grapevine's busy, there's talk all over town. There's talk all over town Say the more I try to raise you up The more you drag me down Well, I begged and I begged you Bend your low down dirty ways Well, I begged and I begged you Bend your low down dirty ways Been thinking about it for days and days Troublemaker, Johnny O. Ooh. Here they all come. These are the troublemakers, folks. We're gonna get heated up here. I just want you to know. I won't take you back. I'll be a fool. I'm just trying to comfort myself. It's true. And now you're gone. Can't believe we're through.
transmission. We're going to have you back. And we're going to bring the troublemakers out. It's going to be fun. Thank you all so much for being here. We're just getting warmed up. I just wanted to give you a little taste of what's about to happen. Julia McConaughey on the violin. saxophone and flute, Brian Kennig on harmonica, Larry Third Degree Burn on the keyboards, my brother from another mother, Mr. Tony Benson, the original troublemaker, Jamie Clark back there on the drums. Right back. How about that, Kathy Greer? My sister from another mister. All right.
was music you were listening to is Delta Dave. He's no longer on this plane. He used to perform in the subway of New York City, and I wanted to share his music with you because I just thought he was just amazing, an amazing songwriter and musician. And he would wheel himself into the stations and play that amazing Delta Blues style. It was just a, a treat. Well, welcome back to the show with the Troublemakers, really, all of us here. Thank you, y'all beautiful.
intermission there. I need, I need a little set change. First I want to, I want to thank, that was uh, John Salerno on the saxophone. How about that? Woo. I definitely want to give a shout out to DCA because what they do here for the community is just incredible. Yeah. Carrie Lewis and Allen and Kurt. I am 
missing all my loving you gave up I bet you I Give me away Treat to have Larry here. I was asked to write a score for a documentary film, which is just going to come out this year. It's it's making its way to the festivals. It's something called My First and Last Film, written and directed by a Milwaukee resident, Tracy Thomas. She wanted a female blues artist to write the score, and she found me, and I just was so honored. And she asked me to write, I didn't know at the time when, when she came to my house to interview me, um, an all original instrumental score. So when she showed up with her crew, I had written this song. It was snowy, it was January when they finally came to my house. Well, this story is, is that the film is about turning 60. Anybody out there, been there, about to be? I'm turning 60 in November, how about that? So I thought she wanted me in the film 
to talk about turning 60, and she said, that's when she said, no, I want you to write the score. So I watched a lot of the, the reel that she gave me to kind of come up with some ideas. And this is the one song that I sing on, and it's the one part that I'm actually in the film singing it to the director and the film crew saying, this is my idea for the film. I never recorded it besides that one moment. So you have to see the film. My first and last film, well, it'll be out soon. It's called The Happiness Blues because sometimes stuff happens as life does. And we gotta reach inside and we all have it. We all have it. It's like a, today, uh, I woke up this morning, I looked out, there was a beautiful sunflower and I just said, yep, that's all we need. When I get down on myself Feel so lost, can't find my way I can be so hard on myself Troubles seem like they're here to stay And a feeling of gloom fills my lonely room Too many tears are for a thousand reasons Questions you ask the universe Funny thing, happiness, happiness, yeah. I sure do feel it right deep down in my bones, yes, I do.
Oh 
My very first steel bridge in June of 2016, I had no idea what I was in store because we write and we record, we write and record all week long and then we perform and then we have performances and I was honored to be given my very first show with a band that I hadn't put together yet at one o'clock on a Sunday it was the last day of the festival and Zach Vogel was on drums sorry Jamie you were busy Zach is a, my main crew man here here's Zach right there yeah. he's, he's been pulling this all together and I met j -Bo who's also part of the tech, and thank, thank him. There he is, j -Bo's over there. Teflon, of course, is back there at the monitors. He's waving. He's, come on, come on over here. He even cut his beard so he wouldn't look like Steve Hamilton, who's back there at the board. I met these, these are my family. These are fa my family members. And of course, Tony. Tony was always part of, part of the trouble. That's where it all started. And then all the rest of them came along for the ride. Like Polly Ryan, who saw me and said, yeah, I want to play with you. Well, here's the thing. At 4 o'clock that morning, when I had just come back from a recording session, I found out that the Pulse nightclub massacre had happened. And it really choked me up for many, many reasons. And obviously, I, I wanted to inform people without it being sort of gratuitous and talking about, you know, we gotta stop the gun violence. Because I don't think that is working. I think music is gonna save the world, so. That's it. And community, like this. Because I, I truly believe that when we heal our community and we're whole in our community, those things don't, don't happen because we know what's going on in our community. And I am a dreamer. But. So I sang this song, and also what was fitting is the only song at the time that I'd written with bridge in it, and that's the prerequisite for writing songs for a steel bridge. Looking into your eyes, I see only agony Stop to realize You make life what it can be You took a wrong turn left You should have turned on a right Well, I just want you to see You don't have to fight To get it right because heaven wasn't built in just one day I know you know Stop burning bridges just to say You're sinking so low Just let it go What could be lines that trace the miles until infinity? Coincidence of fate made us cross paths. Think of what you had and learn how to make.
spirit free Because heaven wasn't built in just one day I know you know Stop burning bridges just to say You're sinking so low Heaven wasn't built in just one day I know you know With the cause of your nightmares What's the reason for your blank stares Feeling trapped in a loop Standing all alone Broken, battered in stone But staggering Trying to comprehend the rap Turning up the music Just to drown yourself out Lying to the mirror Leave your humble The feeling trouble You're looking kind of age for your years Filled to the brim With all your fears All you're doing now Until the tears fall down When you speak Your words are bleak Broken in a water Standing on the edge Cause the bleak jumping Trying to fly like a bird or something Just stay high Through the cabin To the city numb To the people that you pass by On a trip that won't play Heaven wasn't built in just one day Heaven wasn't built in just one day You're good singers out there, come on, sing it with us Heaven wasn't built in just one day Let's hear and sing Heaven wasn't built in just one day. That's how we, we do it up here, right? Heaven wasn't built in just one day. It sounds beautiful. It's so true, right? Heaven wasn't built in just one day. Save the world with music. He was there that day. I found him. I said, Alex, you've got to get up here and you've got to do it. So we resurrected that again. Yeah, lovely. Well, I would be remiss in putting this show together to not really do a little bit of a Steel Bridge Song Festival set. So here's some of the songs that have come, have come out of the Steel Bridge Festival. We did one this earlier in the first set, Light on the Bay. And I just want to just say a tiny bit about the process. So we, we, we spin the bottle. That's fun. We, we get three artists that we collaborate with. We rewrite the song, but we have to present it to Pat first. And I know he'd say, but. But we, ha we just have to present it to Pat first to, for him to approve it first and then go to one of the studios that maybe Steve Hamilton is recording in. And when, when uh, Ruby and Wyatt and I wrote Light on the Bay, he, you know, what the, th the brilliance of Pat is that he doesn't tell you how to write a song, he just sort of leads you to it. And he said, so the line that we wrote was um, where our memories stay. And he was like, really? Is there something better there? Where our memories play. Isn't that much better? So that's the, so it's the tiny little thing that happens in our songwriting. This song was not written by me. It was sort of like the best song that came out of last year, written by Carly Bear, Kate Vargas, and Andre Witkins. And, and those of you that have seen us perform throughout the summer, you know that it's one of our favorite songs. Ever. 
ever since the day my mama told me, girl, you are crazy. I've been making my way in this world just fine on my own. Don't get me wrong. Tomorrow morning, you'll be waking up all alone. Cause I've been there and I've done that, and I know I ain't no one's flower, no candy in a box. Check it out. a good song and it's so much fun to sing. Earlier I talked about the Love and Holiday. We write to artwork. This is a song that I wrote with Josh Hardy and Feathered Mason to a, a piece called Legacy of Love by Nikki Kafter. around me tradition won't let me be and I'll never I'm gonna live that down roots run deep that's what I found always oh, found Talk to me, Mama learned from a father. 
Kathy Greer. I, I say, let's give it up for bowling. Without bowling, I wouldn't have met this young lady. It's kind of like a perfect Wisconsin story. You know? We met at a bowling alley. You know? You know? Well, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> this one was written with Matt uh, Spottle, Matthew McKinnon, Michael McKinnon and Matt Spottle. I'll get the words right. How are we teaching young boys that the age of
you doing out there? How about these guys? And a wonderful other female on stage, Julia McConaughey. We wrote a song to a piece of jewelry. True story, Melissa Clark. All right, this 
one is a special one. I get to put down the guitar for a minute. Maybe you want to sing along on this one. It's very easy. It's called Just That Way. Stereo harmonicas right now. In this corner, Brian Koenig from Eau Claire.
Armageddon, and that's what we call Blues Blowout. <laughs> it was one of those things that just happened, you know. It was fun to kind of come up with. How are your ears from that one? That was probably... Yeah. We've been days ago, baby. Now it seems like years gone by. You picked me right off the floor. I didn't know what I was heading for. Easy come, easy go. Yeah. Look around, don't you take love for granted? Came and you took me by a phone I didn't know what it was until I fell I know you're still unsatisfied Well, satisfaction's worth waiting for Easy come, easy go Look around, don't you take love for granted
I can't believe it. we've come to this moment, the last song. Thank you all so much. You mean the world to me. And I want to thank the DCA for everything. Door Community Auditorium, just fabulous. And my crew, as I mentioned before, they, they just wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do this without them. And I want to thank Jody and the family for helping out with the merchandise. It was really sweet of you to step in on that. Please give it up for Kathy Greer. My sister. Dancing is allowed in this one.
Greer, Kathy Greer, and we're the Troublemakers. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you.
without a word no a
Please give it up for Kathy Greer, the New York subway girl now. Now she's above ground, she's round there in Sturgeon Bay. There's amazing talent in Wisconsin. Thank you for embracing me.